In this tutorial I explain how to find material stored on cassettes and then how to find these cassettes in the tower. First we open the tab Contents of Cassettes. If other columns are visible to you, you can adjust them as you need them at any time. Then you should save the setting here. All stored positions on all cassettes are displayed here. To show how easy it is to find the material, I have created 10 sample positions for this tutorial. In a regular operation, this table can contain well over 100 items. That is why it makes sense to know how to search for something specifically. Here we see a position marked in orange. This indicates that this cassette is already in circulation and is no longer in the tower or that someone has reserved this cassette for fetching with a blink command. If we go to the tower view, we see that the cassette MF004 is in circulation. If this option is not desired, you can switch it off under Options – Miscellaneous. If you have the exact material number of the material, you can search for it directly by entering it in the table. In this example, I want to find material 102570. The first thing we do is sort the table by material number. To do this, we click on the corresponding column name. Next, we click on the column in which we want to search. In this case it is the material number. But we can also look for different information in any other column. Here, we now type in the material number with the keyboard. The cursor immediately jumps to the next position that corresponds to the entry. If we have entered the material number in full, the MF002 cassette is marked with the material you are looking for. Just as a further example, if we type in the material number 100880, the marking jumps upwards. Here we see three positions with the material we are looking for. Since they are sorted according to the material number, they are directly below each other and we have a direct overview of all positions. We can also search for the cassettes directly. To do this, we click in the Cassette column and enter the cassette you are looking for. And already we found the cassette. This search method is particularly suitable when you know that the search term does not appear too often. If you don't know the material number or you want to search in more detail, you can use the filter. It is particularly suitable for looking for remnants of a certain size. In our example, we are looking for a remnant piece with the description 1.4301 and with the dimensions of 1502. To open the filter, we click here on this button. In this window, we enter the filter criteria. If we click here, we see a list with all the columns in the table. Here we can select which column we want to filter by. We leave Description selected. Then we choose how to filter. Here we see a list of options. Since description is a text field, we select contains. We could also select begins with, but then the description must begin with the search term. With contains, the search term can appear anywhere, in the middle of the text or at the end. It doesn't matter. The main thing is that it is included in the description. Next, we enter the search term. To make the filter method contains clearer, I'll just enter 4301. Now we have created our first filter criterion. It is not particularly meaningful yet, but would give a result. We take a quick look at the intermediate result by clicking on Apply. Now we only see positions in the table that contain our search term. We want to narrow the result even further. So we need more filter criteria. We click here for that. 
another line appears immediately. Here we choose length. Then is less than or equal to. And enter 1000. Then we create filter criteria for width and height in the same way. So now our sample filter is ready and we press OK. Now we see the material we are looking for in the MF001 cassette. This line appeared down here. It indicates that a filter is active. If we want to change the filter, we click on Customize. If we want to delete this filter again, we click here on the red X. Now all positions are displayed again and the line has disappeared. You can use all of these functions in all similar tables in the Böckel Tower software. I have activated the filter again and continue with the example. Once we have found our material, we can open the corresponding cassette or display where it is in the tower. To do this, we right-click on the position. If we click on Open Cassette, the same window opens as in the tower view. If we click on Search Cassette, we automatically jump to the tower view. In addition, the cassette is marked green in the view and the LED is switched on. So we can quickly find it in the real tower. That was all about searching and filtering in content of cassettes.